Hi everyone, I'm Sonia Singh, the artist behind Tree Change Dolls. Welcome to my next DIY video. Now today I'm going to be showing you a bit of the process I've been through in developing and creating new shoes and feet for my dolls. And I will show you my current method for making a pair of gumboots. Now just to show you that it has been quite a process of trial and error, here are some of the shoes and feet that I have tried out. Now I've used a variety of materials. The very first feet I made were actually just little, like, little pillows made out of an old pair of stockings. So on the very first pictures you might see those. I've experimented with hot glue, coloured hot glue, air dry clay, um, a variety of different moulds as well. Now, a lot of those things are probably acceptable, but what I was trying, what I was looking for is something that is flexible, like rubber, when it dries, and something I don't have to put in the oven. So at the moment, I've been making these little gum boots and also these little foot boots, which I often then put another layer on to turn them into sandals so that the line around the ankle is not so obvious. So that just gives you a little glimpse of what I have the process has been so okay there we go so what I'm going to be sh showing my process for is my current method for doing the gum boots now these are made out of something that I did a bit of research on the internet that people are calling ugu and it's a type of homemade moldable silicone that you make using silicone cork that you can buy from a hardware shop. The stuff you put around your sink to seal it and make it waterproof. Okay, so I'll put that aside. Now, what I'm going to be using to make this homemade moldable silicone is my tube of silicone cork, um, some paint to color it, and mixing in some corn flour. Okay. So I've got a little plastic bowl. This stuff can be peeled back from the bowl, so I just reuse my plastic bowls and reuse this little plastic spatula, but you can use um, a paddle pop stick or a plastic spoon. Okay, now I mould the gumboots onto the doll that I'm making the shoes for. And before I start, I make sure I put a little bit of Vaseline or just petroleum, that's a brand of petroleum jelly. I should just say petroleum jelly. Um, so I put that on the ends of the legs like that so that I can pull them off because I actually like them to be removable so you can change the shoes or if I decide I want that doll to wear a different kind of shoes. Okay, all right, now I'm going to mix up my ugu. Now, I'll just squirt some in. There we go. It's a fairly transparent color. And it does just dry clear as well. So, I've squirted some in there. I'm also going to use a little bit of paint like that. I'm trying to make red but when I mix the corn flour in that's white so they might actually turn out a bit sort of pink and to counteract that I might just actually put a little bit of black paint in there as well. So I'm putting just a little bit of red and a little bit of black. Now first of all I mix the paint into the silicone cork and then I get a bit of an idea of what colour it's going to be although as I mentioned once I put the corn flour in it does change the colour a little bit. Now depending what kind of silicone cork you're using you do get some vapours and fumes so you need to do this in a well ventilated room and I'm not recommending that this is a suitable activity for children because I am using chemicals here. Okay. Once that's nicely mixed, I'm going to add the corn flour just with a spoon. 
and I add about almost as much corn flour by volume as I have silicone cork, I guess. Now it feels as though it doesn't really doesn't want to mix in, but I just keep mixing and squishing it around with the spatula and it does eventually mix in so there we go now the silicone cork itself that's just really really sticky you can't pick it up you can't really mold it so the corn flour um, makes it thicker and There we go. So it's a sort of pinky red colour. Alright. Now I just looked this up on the internet. So if you want more detail about how to make ugu, you can look up and um, just look up ugu, double O G double O on the internet. I've also read that ugu is actually a homemade version of a commercially available product that I only just looked up the other day called Sugru. And Sugru sounds like really amazing stuff. I've ordered some and I'm going to try that out. I'm sure it's a lot easier to use than this stuff, but it's not actually available in Australia yet. So that's a commercially available moldable silicone, um, which I haven't yet tried. All right, so it looks like they're going to be pink rather than red gumbo, but that's okay. All right, now once the ugu <laughs> is like this, it's pretty gooey and it's also still quite sticky. So what I'm gonna do so that I can pick it up and mold it is cover my hands in corn flour. There we go, it's a bit messy. All right, and before I pick this up, I'm actually gonna cover this in a layer of corn flour too. Alright. So it is a bit of a messy process. Okay, and once it's sort of covered in corn flour, like that, there we go. Now I'm going to roll it around in my hands. Alright, I've got a bit too much corn flour. Okay, so there's my ball of moldable silicone cork plus corn flour with the paint added. Now to make the gumboots, of course we need two. So I just try and divide it into two equal portions like that. And then I start molding it onto the doll's feet. So I just sort of, usually I just push it on like this onto each foot like that and I just keep gradually pushing it up the legs to make the foot section and hopefully I've got about the same much on each foot or she's going to have odd feet. Now I try and get them the same and I try and do it as neat as I can but I'm not really aiming for perfection I'm aiming for something that looks nice but you can probably still tell that they're homemade in the end they're not going to look like factory produced doll shoes okay all right try and get them the same length up the leg as well so once i've done the top i try and make it even but sometimes actually after it's dry i just cut the tops off using scissors anyway so there we go. And then I start to mould the feet upside down. And I just gradually press, gradually start to shape that into feet with a heel at the back <laughs> into some little pink gum boots. That one's looking pretty good. This one I think I've got a bit more, so she's going to have one slightly bigger foot. Alright. Okay. Nearly there.
there. I can decide how big her feet are going to be. Might give her quite long feet. There we go. And if it starts getting a bit sticky, then I just, which it does sometimes on the top where I'm smoothing it out there, I just add a bit more corn flour. All right. Now that's pretty done. I'm pretty happy with how those fruits are looking. So once I'm happy with the shape, I need to just sit this doll with her shoes on somewhere overnight for this to dry in that position. So what I have been doing, which looks a bit strange, is I get her standing up and I've actually been sticky taping her to a tin of, of yeah. Tin of something, no matter what's on the inside. So I just get her so her feet are just resting on a piece of baking paper, a piece of non stick baking paper, and that way the shoes are not going to just flop down because it's still quite gooey and moldable. All right, so she's going to stay here overnight. Um, just in case you're interested, this little doll here has been repainted. I think I did her yesterday. Um, and I'm planning to put this one up for auction on eBay um, with 50% of the profits going to IWDA for International Women's Day. So I'll put that up on eBay a week before Women International Women's Day so that that will be sold for that. Uh, on that day. All right, okay. So I think that's that's about it. Um, as I already mentioned, this has been a process of trial and error and I may still come up with different ways of creating shoes and feet for my dolls. Now, if you are interested, you can follow my Facebook page um, and my Tumblr page where I post all new pictures of my own dolls. Um, you can also subscribe to this YouTube channel for further DIY videos when I get the time. Um, also at Tree Change Dolls is where we are on Twitter. And also very exciting coming soon is the Tree Change Dolls website which will be www.treechangedolls.com.au Okay, um, Good luck everyone with your own doll projects at home. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. See ya!